If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, guys. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Head on over, use code Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over the Madden 21 market, guys. Now, the thing is, we finally got some content. I know, it's not like I say that every time we get content. It is, because there's been big gaps between every single, that, like, every single instance of content. They give us a huge break. Now, NFL season started on Thursday. We had Sunday football. We had Monday night football. We are through the first week of the NFL, thankfully. So hopefully this is the beginning of Madden content consistently. Now, if you guys watched my video this morning, which you should go back and watch if you haven't already, which is the Team of the Week reveal video, that's going to pretty much sum up what they're doing this year. And they did alter Team of the Week quite drastically. So I'm going to go over all that in that video. Make sure to check that out. Don't want to repeat it for all you guys who already watched it. But pretty much based on the way they're doing that, guys, it's making it a more complex weekly drop. Now, if you guys know what I mean by that, pretty much last year we got flashbacks, Team of the Week, heavyweights, signature series, and veterans, Monday through Friday. Most of the drops were pretty horrible. Pretty much what they did was they gave us the bare minimum bad cards at one day a week and no one really cared for them. So honestly, I think this makes more sense in terms of a more complex weekly drop because more people will care to come on to do team of the week mixed in with other stuff like they're doing it versus little drop, little drop, little drop. So I think this is also big for you guys who watch the market. Now that's specifically the reason for that's going to be more cards in team of the week, more people want those cards, more packs for those cards equals bigger market drop. Now, it's going to come down to the Team of the Week packs, of course. So remember that when the Team of the Week packs are even decent, the market's going to crash. Now, if there's a, depending on how many cards end up actually dropping and how the whole thing ends up working out, they give on a weekly to week basis and how good they make the cards. T, uh, team of the Week Tuesday could easily become Legend Saturday in terms of the market. So remember, you, when they when the content does drop, guys, make sure you're on to snipe and everything. But I'm gonna go over that in just a second. First off, guys, make sure you're going below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. It's kind of come to a halt lately as far as stuff going on due to Madden being a little lackluster. Let's get the momentum going, guys, again. All it takes, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button. That's all I need from you guys. And comment down below. Let me know if you guys are ready to make some coins off Team of the Week. Now, here's the thing. 1991s, they were more expensive. They're super expensive. Dan Marino, 290. Everything is at an all-time high right now. So, what... Like, you know, like all good things must come down. When, th when the market's at its highest, you're in for a horrific crash, guys. People holding right now are in for a horrific crash. Honestly, I didn't want to sell my team because I know I have weekend league again on Thursday, which is two days from now. But I think it might be time to sell the team. I may have to go do it. There's just no way around that. That is such a great value right now. Like, Dan Marino, if you bought him for two, 200k or 205 or 210, you're going to make almost 70k clean, 60k clean after reduction, depending on the price you sell him for. Like, that's just an unreal amount of uh, coins to make off a guy you just bought. Like, there's so much potential right now to just resell and make a ton of coins back. And, of course, Team of the Week is going to change prices, of course. Like I said, I think it's going to be a massive crash on some things. Some things can go up, some things will go down. But for the most part, guys, things on the most will come down. Now, here's the thing. Like I said, if packs are horrible, here, here's the only way the market isn't impacted too much. It'll still be impacted regardless. And that's going to be if the Team of the Week packs are Superstar MVP oriented, like all you pretty much can pull out of the packs are cards to put into the sets. But typically, Team of the Week packs aren't that bad, and you can pull other stuff out of those. So hopefully that's the case. If that's the case, guys, everything's going to start coming down pretty fast. And if things come down, guys, that'll be perfect to go ahead and pick up a team. As well as, the thing is, again, if the players are great, like if, the, if you get a bad Team of the Week drop, no one wants to open packs for them. But players are good, people are going to want to open packs for them. So first off, guys, if you need coins, to pick up some players don't waste your money on those packs though let the other people waste the money on packs this, this is what you guys gotta learn to do let other people buy packs kill the market and then use the coins you bought to take advantage of the dead market use other people's money to increase your own coin stack using the coins you got now if you need coins my reserve down below guys coins are on a crazy discount right now prices are pretty much halved um use code poodle for an additional 15 percent off make sure to take advantage you can get a ton of coins way better value than packs right now but moving on with uh with team of the week coming out i suspect so we got the arian foster and the bright young that we saw and whatever else like i said go watch the video and go over all that but for the most part guys as long as stats are good which i believe they were in my personal opinion things will come down now of course they need to come into game once the content actually does drop but we are in for a decent crash now when there is a crash things will come back up so don't think that's the end of it it'll come down and then it'll slowly rise back up during the week depending on content now if we don't get another promo this week which i don't believe 
unless they announce them at 50 soon, which I think will be more next week or the week after that. But as long as we have nothing else, guys, the only thing that will be impacted again is Saturday Legends. Now, remember, it will be a similar impact to Saturday Legends. So what you're going to want to do is there's going to be low team of the week cards. First, there's going to be budget cards, and there's going to be low team of the week cards that are just cards in the set. So two things. Let's say they drop a, a Ruggs, right? Which I don't think they will. He did okay, but let's say they drop a Henry Ruggs. You want to make sure that you go find that card because when the packs are opening up, you might see him for like 10k, 15k, and if he's super fast, you can end up being really, really high. Again, sometimes they sell him, they sell him high instantly. Sometimes they start low because people are quick selling everything quickly as possible. Also, make sure you're watching the price of the set versus the price of the market because sometimes things are going so cheap that you can make the uh, top card for a lot cheaper. Uh, and pretty much, guys, yeah, just like Legend Saturday, be checking like, okay, who's the top piece in the set? Who are the lowest piece in the set? Like Tony Gonzalez. Let's say they drop an 84 guy. Uh, that's in the team of the week set. And you're seeing him for like 15k, 20k, 15k, 20k, 5 to 15ks. Later on, when the set goes back up to norm normality and everything, that kind of like equals out. He could be 25k now. Again, it's not a crazy amount of coins, but if you buy like six of them and you make seven to 8k per, you end up looking at 40 to 50k. It's a pretty decent value to be making back on those, which is why you guys want to be watching it, especially when it comes out. Make sure you're on when it comes out, because when packs are ripping, pe people are dumb. And when pack when they rip, first off, they're done for ripping packs, and then when they're done ripping packs, they go ahead. And they just literally sell everything. They sell everything, and I don't believe in doing that. When I when I did my initial pack openings this year to start the year, I actually saved everything for like a week, and I made a ton more coins that way. Again, I got locked out, but I was gonna do that regardless. So I'm just saying, if you do end up opening packs, make sure you don't sell instantly, unless you pull the unless you pull the bosses. That's the one thing you can sell instantly. So like, let's say you pull the LTD boss. You probably want to sell that as quickly as possible if the price is over a million or set the market with over a million coins. But if that's the case but oh, that's just like general advice not for team of the week just in anything the only time you really want to sell instantly after pack openings if you pull like an ltd because those will come down in price because they're limited time cards but if you sell if you get a regular card that goes in sets and gonna have long they're gonna have long-term value based on the set make sure you're taking advantage of that but you can expect things to easily drop at least 10 to 20 percent today which again may not sound like a lot but when you come up here 20 percent of this could be like what 20 percent of 300k what is that? Well, I'm blanking right now. Is that six? 60? Could be almost, wait, right? 60K? 60K ish? Yeah, 60K exactly. It can come down to like 230 again. So if you just sell for 290 and you really like Tamarino buying back for 230, you end up making a, a, a margin of about like 40K right there. Not bad at all. Um, some guys like Junior Say, I was gonna come down a lot. Cause he's already kind of low. So what that tells me, people really don't like him for some reason, considering he's lower than most of these cards that people didn't like to begin with. So. He can come down to like 250, 240, 230. Again, not huge decreases, but they are beneficial when you look at it in the grand scheme of things. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and check out the value of my team after this video and go start selling some things I don't think I need. Now guys, there's some cards I don't think I'd wanna sell. Like Isaiah Simmons is a guy I really don't wanna sell. That guy was super glitchy for me in weekly league. And had I finished my weekly league, I probably would've won like anywhere between 17 to 20 wins based on the route I was going. And Isaiah Simmons was a big part of that. So I don't think I'd wanna sell him. He was a, he was a defensive force and I'm not gonna lie guys, but Pretty much wraps up the video and covers everything I want to cover. So I do expect the market to crash as long as I didn't do anything weird with Team of the Week drop. Like if they drop it on time and the packs are decent and things go the way they're supposed to go, you can expect a crash for the most part just because th these prices aren't, aren't market prices. This literally screams we are content dry, which means two things. Well, a few things. Content dry means less people on the game, which means less people are buying things which means less people in general care to spend their coins right now, which also means people aren't buying packs. And what keeps the market low? Packs. Because people buy packs when they're excited for the game and packs equals an increase of the supply of cards in the market. And pretty much it goes like that. The more supply of cards in the market, the lower cards are. It's inflation. Now, could EA be trying to kill coin selling by going ahead and doing this, not dropping content, raising prices, making packs worthwhile? Possibly, but I still think packs aren't a great value right now considering how cheap coins are. So remember head on over code pool will take advantage guys Coins are literally cut in half. I have crazy low prices right now But that's about it guys make sure to jo join the family hit that subscribe button turn the notify bell boys it goes a long way Always want to be notified when I post a brand new video So make sure you go right now and turn the notify bells And you're good now make sure to smash the like button comment down below let me know what you guys think of the team of the players and Hey, we'll check guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace